Hey guys, so in today's video I thought I'd talk about the pros and cons of living in a student kind of like dorm, like halls, versus living in a student house. Um, they're two very different experiences I've found um, and they both have their advantages and they both have their disadvantages so um, it's really all about preference and what you prefer um, but I hope this video will make it easier for you to come up with your own decision about where you want to be living for the next few years. So one thing I really liked about living in halls and I actually miss the most about living in halls is the fact that you're so close to everything. A lot of unis, I know specifically Bournemouth Uni, put the halls in such a convenient place which means like it's a five minute walk to the shops, it's a five minute walk to the gym, five minute walk to the club, everything you could ever need to go to is within at least a, I'm gonna say 20 minute walk max. And I miss that conveniency because when you move to living in a house, it does get a little bit more tricky to get to places and you have to get buses and taxis more often. Halls are also a really great way to meet people. Um, firstly, you're living in a building with people, um, probably all in the same year group as you, like in Bailey Point at Bournemouth. Um, that's just for first years, so everyone in that building is in exactly the same boat as you. So it's a very nice way and easy way to make friends. Um, and the halls at Bournemouth, um, Res Life BU run so many events um so they did like a um petting kind of zoo thing where they brought in like rabbits and dogs and um giant centipedes and all kinds of like um different animals that you could um learn about and pet and then you could like meet people through it they did like a twister night um free fajitas free pizza night like they do a bunch bunch of different events so it's a really great way to meet people. Being in the halls and being close to a bunch of the other student residents um, means that like if you want to go to a flat party or if you want to go to pre's before you go out to the clubs it's so convenient most of the time it's either up or down a flight of stairs or across the road. I really don't feel safe walking around by myself at night time um, but because most of the accommodation was centered around one roundabout I felt completely safe just crossing the road and like going over to my friends. Another pro of living in halls is that all bills are included so you don't have to worry about setting up um, your gas and electricity bills and all of that like all of that is sorted for you which is really nice because it takes off some of the stresses. Um, like the most that you'll have to do in some accommodations um, is get a TV license. Um, like if you want to watch TV, that's probably the most kind of admin kind of thing that you're gonna have to do as well as paying your rent. Um, so it's very easy breezy. Um, everything is included in a nice little package and it's very convenient. Same as your bus pass as well. You don't have to worry about getting a bus pass because um, a lot of the accommodations offer an included bus pass in your rent. So everything is, yeah. So basically living in the halls will make your life so convenient. Um, but I really enjoy living in a house. Um, as much as I miss living in halls, I think I prefer living in a house. Um, and the main reason is because, I think I've spoken about this in previous videos, um, living in a house makes Bournemouth feel like a home. Whereas when I lived in a dorm, the flat that I lived in felt, as much as I loved it, I absolutely loved my first year flat, it felt like a place that I was staying to get my degree rather than a home. Um, whereas our house now, I will, like, it's like my second home, like my home away from home. Um, so I much prefer a house setting because it's so much easier to just like settle in and like it really does feel um, like somewhere you're living. I feel like living in a house gives you a lot more independence. Um, obviously being in a house means that you have to get your bills sorted. Some houses do have bills included in the rent and it's all kind of sorted for you. Um, but with our house, we have to sort out our own bills. So we have to do gas, water and electric, um, which it's fine. I don't really know much of what's going on. I'm very lucky some of my housemates are very savvy with all of that so they kind of deal with it and I just hand over the money but um, I have learned a lot through them about it things like that definitely like help you feel more independent as well as like getting to know your new neighborhood so in Bournemouth um, you have Lansdowne, um, Charminster and Winton um, which are kind of like the 
like three like towns that kind of make up the like Bournemouth area um, where all the students live and um, each of them have their own little high street so you've got your own shops that you can get to know, your own area that you get to know and then also like if you're living in a house um, you will likely be taking the bus from a different bus stop than you would in your first year if you chose to live in halls. So um, I had to go and find my new bus stop and learn the bus timetables and stuff like that. So all of that I feel like gives you a sense of independence and helps you get to know the area a lot more. Housework is also so much more convenient. I feel like in a house, um, in halls, if you wanted to hoover your room, you had to go down and book out the hoover. Um, and if you wanted to do your laundry, you had to make sure that the laundry room was free and like, like there was a machine free to, for you to use. Um, and also there wasn't any dishwashers in halls, you had to wash everything by hand. Whereas now in our house, if I wanna get the hoover and hoover my room, it's literally downstairs, we're out on the landing. If I wanna wash my clothes, it's likely that the machine is free. And we're very lucky in our student house, we have a dishwasher. So it means that the dishes don't really pile up because everything just gets shoved in the dishwasher and it's just so convenient. It's like, it's so, so nice. So that's the convenient aspect of living in a house. You don't have to share as much, um, but you do have to do all your bills and stuff. But you're gonna have to do that anyway when you leave uni. So I feel like it's good practice. Um, and the final thing that I absolutely love about being in a house is the fact that we have garden and we have a driveway. Um, so I don't drive, but my housemates do. And so that means they've brought all of their cars down um, and so we can go out on day trips. Um, so we've been to like Durdle Door, um, we went pumpkin picking last year. Um, we did, like we've done so much. It's so nice and you really get to know the area so much better because you're driving around and exploring. Um, and then in the summer, having a garden is so nice um, because you can sit out and read a book or like we've got football in our garden, so we'll go out and play with that. Um, and like, if you're having house parties, you can let, let it spill into the garden. Like, it's just so nice. Um, like, I love living in a flat, but having a garden is just really like, we, we do like barbecues and stuff out there as well. So I really like that. Um, and again, like I said, it definitely makes it feel more homey. Much as I loved living in my dorm in first year, absolutely obsessed with living in a house. Um, and we loved our house so much that we decided to keep it for another year. Um, so that is also an option um, that you can, if you find one that you really, really want to keep, you can stay for a second year. Yeah. That's my, that's my opinion, my advice on um, living in halls versus living in a house. Um, again, completely up to you, personal preference. It all depends on what you wanna do and where you wanna live um, and the kind of, kind of vibe you're going for and the amount of conveniency that you're looking for. Um, but for me, I found living in a house was the perfect fit. Hopefully my advice was useful. If you've got any questions um, about getting a house, um, any of the student accommodations, whatever, um, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer um, them. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!